What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write a piecewise function from a graph, right? So you can see here we have three pieces, right? So that means we're gonna have three pieces to our piecewise function, All right? So we're gonna have y is equal to, and then we're gonna have three equations or functions right here, okay? So let's start just with this first one on the left. So as you can see, it's just a straight horizontal line. If we didn't end it right there and we just kept going right here, you can see that it would run through the number one, right? So this is, since it's just a straight horizontal line, this is at y is equal to positive one, right? So then we can write that as our first function over here. So we're just gonna say that y is equal to one. Okay, now this graph obviously doesn't just run all the way straight through, right? We, we stop it right here at negative two, okay? So you can see that this graph right here, y is equal to one, is valid from negative two, and then the numbers just get smaller and smaller and smaller, right? So we can say that this graph, y is equal to one, is valid if x is less than or equal to negative two, okay? The reason I know this is less than or equal to is because our circle right here is filled in, right? So if it's filled in, that means the equal to symbol is attached, okay? So there's your first one. Now let's go to this second one. So this one has a slope to it, right? It's not just a straight vertical or horizontal line. So we're gonna have to use y is equal to mx plus b to write it, okay? So remember, good old slope intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b, so m is your slope and b is your y-intercept, or in other words, where the graph hits the y-axis, okay? So first, let's figure out the slope here. So the slope is, let's see, to get from one point to another point on the graph, we have to go up one, two, and then over one, right? Up two, over one. So the slope is equal to rise, the rise over the run, so it's two over one, and two over one is just equal to two, right? So then the slope over here is gonna be equal to two. And then our y-intercept, or in other words, again, where the line hits the y-axis is right here at the origin at zero, right? So then we're gonna plug in a zero for b. Okay, so then here we're gonna have y is equal to two x plus zero, but that doesn't do anything, right? So we can just leave it like this, y is equal to two x. Okay, so the equation of this line right here is y is equal to 2x, right? So y is equal to 2x. Now, it's valid, as you can see, from negative 2, right? It goes from here all the way to right here at 0, right? So it's good between this space right here, from negative 2 to 0. So it's valid when, or I can say if, x is greater than negative 2, and when it's less than or equal to to zero, okay? Here I used a less than symbol because we have an open circle, right? So we know it's just a less than symbol. And here we have a filled in circle, so that's why we used less than or equal to. Okay, so again, y is equal to two x is valid from negative two to zero. Okay, and then lastly, we just need to find the equation of this line right here. So again, we can use y is equal to mx plus b. So again, our slope and our y-intercept, right? So our y-intercept in this case is at positive two, right? Because that's where this line hits the y-axis. It hits it at positive two right here. So we're going to put a positive two right there. And then the slope, well, it's a negative slope, right? Because it's going down. So to get from one point to another point on this line, you have to go down one and then over two, right? Down one, or in other words, negative one, and then over two. So the slope over here, remember the slope is equal to the rise over the run. So the slope is going to be equal to negative one over two, or we can just write that as negative one half. Okay, so then the equation of this line is y is equal to negative one half x plus two, right? So that's what we write up here. So y is equal to negative one half x plus two. Now this equation is valid from zero all the way towards positive infinity, right? It just basically goes forever in that direction. So we can say that this equation y is equal to negative one half x plus two is valid if x is greater than zero, right? Because x is equal to zero is basically right here. And we're saying it's all the values that are bigger than zero along the x-axis. So all these. Okay, and one check you always want to do is just making sure that wherever one line ends, the other one begins. Okay, so for example, this line right here ends at negative two right here, and then this one starts at negative two, right? So that's why this one over here 
ends at negative 2, and then this one starts at negative 2. Same thing over here. This line ends at 0, and then this one starts at 0, right? This is x is equal to 0. So same thing over here. This one ends at 0, and then this, was, this one starts at 0, okay? So that's one little check you want to do to make sure that your piecewise function makes sense. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.